What is up, everybody? I'm Novo coming at you with another one. And I am 100% wrong. Maybe I'll make that my new tagline. Anyways, I was uh, recording a video on Monero and something happened. I lost the video, so it's going to be short. Looking at the weekly, the 20 or 21 day average kind of following this trend here and the 34 following this trend here on the weekly, as I stated, um, we have a support structure right here between the open and close of the previous week. I'm getting messages in pings. I'm sorry if you hear that. Um, looking at APO MACD, if I can squeeze this down enough. What's the trend? The trend is up. We're still going up. It looks like it's showing that we're still going up as well. Just starting off the new candle, a doji. Obviously, it's a doji because we just started off, so you're not going to see much volume. Um, but I'm concerned if we're going to start. Oops. 4,000. Ding. Let me have a peek at this. Uh, we interrupt this video to show you the price of Ethereum. Boom. So money flow index RSI is topped out on the weekly. We're just... Did we just swallow $40 million worth of, oh, let's, this is now becoming an ETH video, uh, ETH USDT. <laughs> we have a milestone. Keep going, keep going. Some serious ching happening here 3980 3 million 1 million 1 million stuff's going berserk here let's go to 50 dollar swings uh oh we're still 12 it moved up to 40 50 so maybe a whale is moving his uh, bids up this is a good sign but it's still a little scary for me uh all the bases down here looks like 3700 around 8 million so I think that was 36 in a previous video. Somebody has just shifted. The money maker has just shifted. Now we're at 5,023 million. Look out. This is going to be a crazy week. Anyway, okay. Um, where was I? <laughs> Monero. Shall we? Monero, where'd you go? XMR. I'm looking right at you. There you are. Um, this might be a good thing for BTC. Anyways, uh, Monero USDT. I was thinking things were starting to top out. Um, the uh, We had this uh, triangle and this support line here. Wow, my head is spinning over that breakout. Um, 420-ish. Uh, we have this big wick of uh, compression pushing us down, and we're just starting to see the round off, right? But I do like this. So there's the argument, you know, between uh, 520 and uh, 444. So it could be that base is going to go up. I'm still thinking the base is going to be down around here. And it's kind of hard for me to figure where the flagpole is on this thing because... I want to say that, that that should be the flag there, but this is kind of messy. So if I were to draw, that's the bounce to maybe here, but I'll say here. You know, this is really asking us to go crazy on like to 600 bucks, which is totally doable. I don't know. Um, but we finally have a cross of the, uh, the 1618 and the 111. So what do we do with that? We usually grab our forecaster. We want a price decline of about 90%, right? And we head on up. And I believe 
around 1600 or so was a target 4% off the 90. Um, and let me close this for a second. Sorry. I was playing with the uh, Fibonacci curves here with uh, the weekly. And we'll drag this out. Right. Like so. Delete that. So we're thinking possible. Um, I think the summer might be a little quiet for the alts or there'll be some sort of um, consolidation or something. I don't know. It's been, it's, too much elation and i think we need to uh calm down a bit it's not sustainable look at this we're red line red line red line a uh, little bit of divergence here and then boom we break above this support line so i'm kind of worried about that uh but the uh fibonacci um spiral here uh, basing it off of that 90 percent on the 111 and 1618 cross. And uh, the 1600, I just basically started here. And then roughly, I'm, we're thinking maybe October, like somewhere in the winter, we might see the final run to a lot of these altcoins. So if I stretch this out, right about there. We can kind of see that parabolic channel that we're following. So we see resistance, bounce, resistance, bounce, resistance, bounce, et cetera. And we're just about to hit another resistance and then possibly a bounce. But I think the bounce will be more um, consolidation rather than, you know, like a, a death blow. Uh, and then maybe this cycle will be done once we hit somewhere uh, this winter. And I'm basing that on the 2013 cycle of Bitcoin, which was an April top uh, and then a consolidation. And then I believe it was a November top somewhere around there. So it looks like this is playing out the same way. If we want to quiet things down a bit, remember all of this stuff later on, we can kind of see how everything kind of plays within this channel. So it could be that. Maybe that's what's going to happen. I'm kind of a little bit off, but anyways, you get my drift. Um, back to candles. We'll zoom in a little closer now and see if we can see anything. Uh, if we go to daily, we can see RSI has been above 50 all of this time. Uh, price is going up and we're getting a bit of divergence, right? So the I know that they say uh oversold and sorry oversold and overbought but i kind of more like this being considered like a temperature check you know not really oversold or overbought because this thing could be screaming in 90 for like months and months and months so how could it be oversold for months and months and months more like it's popular or it's healthy for months and months if you get my drift and then once we drop below the 50% mark, then you start seeing more of a sell-off. Oops, just hit my glasses on the mic. Um, right here where we see the cross, right? This is kind of like, nah, 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 nah. And then all of a sudden, bang, it drops below 50. It's kind of like a signal of, look out, it may continue. And then once we go above 50, there's a continuation. And obviously, then we get into that quote-unquote uh, oversold or uh, overbought. Um, but you can see that we are continuing up, right? What is the trend? The trend is still up, but the RSI is slowly grinding its way down. So does this worry me? Well, it's starting to send out signals that, you know, you better watch out. So uh, just to show you what I'm talking about right there. Touch, 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 a little bit under. That could have been that dump here and then the bounce off the 21. Uh, and then we came up and we're touching again. Not only are we touching again, but the money flow index is maxed, right? And what happens when it maxes out? You might get a second bump, a second higher high, and then all of a sudden there's a correction. So 
It could be that that correction is coming. Volume is dropping off. We can't talk about today yet. Oh, yeah, I guess we can. I mean, it's not, it's not midnight yet. So uh, potential doji and selling. So if I turn off the APO and MACD, which looks like it's about to go into consolidation, that would be the red dot. Um, uh, oh, we'll turn that off and we'll see the true colors of the candles. And there's that support structure around 400, 420 that we're looking at for a potential bounce. The 21 and the 34 are kind of headed that way. Uh, and we're just starting to get more wicks to the downside. So if this does not close above here, it could be a trend reversal uh, heading to the downside. And if we look at it on a weekly basis, that's what I'm looking at right now. So while the daily is not finished, the weekly is starting. And we started, obviously, we came across that close. There's the close. And now we're a little bit lower than the previous close uh, that happened. I guess that would be 23 hours and 23 minutes ago. Interesting number. Um, and our first test of support will be roughly 50% of this weekly candle, which seems to be this wick sitting at 440. So we'll see if we see we'll, uh, you know, a bounce off the 440 this week, and then we'll come up and we'll start testing these closes, see if we close above to continue up or if we close below and further strengthen the argument of uh, profit taking and maybe a change. So that's Monero USDT. If we go over to Monero, blah, where is Monero BTC? Kind of like the same argument, but a little bit more pronounced. Um, looking left, we see all this consolidation with uh, BTC. Monero BTC. So, um, well, we found support. So this was a major structure that we would be looking at, which is 0.06. And, you know, support, 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 support. We ran. Opposite reaction is the other way. Uh, and then technically, a, I would say that's a bounce off the 0 0.6 then rejection off the death cross of the 21 and the 34, at which point we come down to lower lows. And then we found a base where we could consolidate and um, try to round up. As we approached here, we can see the turning and the potential golden cross. Uh, but the golden cross while that's going to signify a bullish move to the upside, it looks like we're reaching resistance, which was this section here. Uh, and I have a feeling XMR BTC have leveled off and they're going to be playing ping pong with each other for the next little while. So I think, I think the next few months will be a consolidation battle between BTC and the alts. I think that's what's going to happen. I don't know who's going to win the battle, but I'm going to say it's still alt season. Uh, we're just going to see some profit taking and compounding. So um, have a look at this signal. See as we come close. Uh, if we turn and we start heading back down, then, you know, potential the continuation to come and test this lower line by the end of August. And we'll look to see. Uh, the gaps and see if we can replicate the amount of time in between these bounces to see what happens into the future. We have a we have a consolidation um, bowl cup, if you will, forming here, kind of like a reverse. Uh, this could be a head and shoulders pattern actually forming to see if we break that uh, neckline. I'm not very big on trading that I'm just you know some people have vision i don't uh, but i would expect some sort of handle and then testing support either this price line or 
this uh, uh, this golden cross or potential golden cross of what's happening with the 21 and the 34 weekly. Good support structure there. So if we do come down, highly likely we are going to see a bounce come off of that. So um, are we splitting hairs? I don't even know what the percentage drop would be. So from there, oh, that would be the Fibonacci 318, about 32%. I think that's plausible. Uh, now for the angle and the time, um, I would suggest looking left and making that and making that and that one and this and it might not be worth it but grabbing these guys and this may give you a trajectory as to where price might be headed uh, with regards to angle of attack and then we can see this wedge forming we go like so um maybe i should have done daily might have been a little easier to see Uh, I guess that was this guy right here. Yeah. Log scale. That's the bummer about it right there. Oops. I don't believe that guy was right there. Let's try and get a little more surgical. And up there. Okay, so if we look at these angles, some of them are angles of repetition, like these two guys here. You know, a higher percentage that price would likely start coming down to bounce right about there. In fact, I would probably argue that right there. So if we stretch that out, does that look like a potential cup and handle so that it can get ready? So where's the bounce going to be? Um, end of May, possibly. So let's draw a vertical line, end of May, beginning of June. Is there something astrological about that? I don't know. Uh, and then we're going to do an arrow and a continuation. Look at that intersection of the 111. That looks pretty good. So we will go there. And now we're starting to see a story unfold, right? That one might be a little earlier if it goes down a little lower. Delete. And that would be if we break this structure here. So I think that's all I've got for um, Monero on XB, XB, X, oh my God, XMR BTC versus XMR USDT. So there are some dates to watch out for and watch these tops. Trade safe.